All right, let's take a live look now from Austin at the Texas Capitol. The clock is ticking. Only two weeks left to pass a jam-packed agenda in the second special session. A controversial statewide election bill could get a vote in the Texas House as soon as this Thursday. A committee advanced it last night after hours of testimony from the public. It's already cleared the full Senate. Adam Bennett, live in Austin now. And Adam, less than two weeks left in this special session. That's right, Reka, and lawmakers in the House are wasting no time after lacking a quorum for several weeks. Republicans are trying to advance another controversial bill today, while Democrats are saying they could break quorum again if they deem it necessary. A day after Speaker Dade Phelan verified a quorum was present, it being 100 members, Texas House lawmakers came back to work. This committee took public testimony on Senate Bill 2 today. It would require K through 12 public school students to compete in sports based on their biological sex. It protects all athletes to play fairly. Beth Steltzer signed up to testify in favor of the bill. And we include males in girls spaces. We are discriminating against girls. The process of even trying to pass this legislation has already been harmful to my daughter's self-image. Several Houston mothers of transgender kids drove in to speak against the bill. But this bill will make them feel more excluded than ever. Democrat Representative Jessica Gonzalez came to support these families and ask questions at the bill's hearing. It's her first time back at the Capitol since breaking quorum last month. She told me her decision to return to the floor is, quote, day by day. But it's unclear. It just depends on, on you know, how quickly legislation will move, which, which can move very quickly in a special session. Representative Jim Murphy of Houston chairs the House Republican Caucus. Adam, we have plenty of runway to get all the things done that we want to get done this session. He told me many of the big issues, like elections, bail reform, and an extra check for retired teachers, could get a vote, possibly this Thursday or Friday. We are operating at warp speed. We're having hearings. We're making sure we listen to the people, but a lot of these issues are pretty familiar. The concessions have all been built in beforehand, and so we're ready to go. A House committee also heard testimony today from the public on funding for border security. The full House is set to meet Thursday morning at 10. Rod and Reka. All right, thank you so much, Adam Bennett.